Vortex is the Arrow Suspended Coaster at Canada's Wonderland, and I think it's the best one left. This ride holds its speed well start to finish, resulting in swinging in forces you don't get on the others, and that includes its near clone in the bat at King's Island. Find out why Vortex is better in this review. Arrow built 10 suspended coasters, but only half of them remain. Three of them are located in the Cedar Fair chain, and two are nearly identical. Back when King's Entertainment owned both King's Island and Canada's Wonderland, they planned two suspended coasters in conjunction. The first to open was Vortex at Canada's Wonderland in 1991. The second was Top Gun at King's Island in 1993, which was later renamed Flight Deck in 2008 and Bat in 2014. Vortex and Bat have very similar layouts, but there are some key differences. First, Vortex is 4 miles per hour faster. Vortex is also listed as being 13 feet taller, but I've heard Bat and Vortex have the same height change from the station. The height measurement just depends where you take it from. Second, Vortex runs just a 6 car train, as opposed to Bat's 7 car train. Third, the rides have wildly different settings. Bat is located at the end of an isolated pathway, and the ride swings its way through the woods. Vortex goes on top of Wonder Mountain, and then the ride swings next to Pathways, The Water, and Yukon Striker. Both settings are equally as great in my opinion. Vortex's placement really brings energy to the midway. The red track looks fine, but it's captivating seeing the train swing by, especially if you're down by Yukon Striker. It's neat how B&M designed that dive coaster to pierce right through Vortex's helix. It is a sweet visual both on and off ride. Vortex can get decent weights. While it usually won't be as long as the trio of B&Ms, Vortex's queue line is a miserable series of cramped switchbacks beneath the station. I've had good luck hitting this ride later in the day when the line starts to die down. Vortex runs two trains. As I mentioned earlier, each one is comprised of six cars, and each car is two rows of two, seeing a max of 24 riders per cycle. When you reach the end of the queue line, the grouper fills the station with enough people to fill just the next train. They will let you wait an extra train if there's a specific row you want. I think the forces are pretty similar throughout the train, but the front row is the best overall seat for the unobstructed view and breeze. It really lets you feel this ride sense of speed, which is fantastic for a suspended coaster. The trains are a bit awkward to climb in and out of, but the benefit is that they have a ton of legroom unlike a lot of other aero coasters. The restraints are your standard over the shoulder harness with a redundant seatbelt. I'm tall enough that headbanging is not an issue for me on any aero, but Vortex isn't really plagued by the issue anyway. The ride tracks quite well. You'll feel the train hitch in a few spots, but you won't hit your head. The swinging helps make the ride more comfortable, even when you're swinging pretty violently in some spots. Once dispatched, you climb the slow, and I mean slow, lift. It's 91 feet or 28 meters tall, and it brings you atop Wonder Mountain. There isn't much to see atop this structure. In fact, it's sort of barren and ugly on-ride, but it sure does look cool off-ride. After navigating a slow elevated turn, you head down the ride's largest drop. It is a straight and sizable one. No air time here, but you build up a considerable amount of speed, and Vortex never slows down. The first pullout offers strong positive Gs, and there'll be plenty more where that came from. You then twist to the right into a giant turnaround that turns you left. These directional changes induce some nice swinging and the pullout from this element delivers another nice dose of positive Gs. From this point, Vortex becomes a series of low turns and helixes. This allows Vortex to keep its speed going. The ride's pacing is arguably its best attribute. You fly through some of these turns. After that turnaround, you navigate a few other turns over the river. Each directional change will cause some really good swinging. This leads into the most intense part of the ride, the downwards helix looping around Yukon Striker's drop. This element has the ride's strongest Gs, and they're sustained too. Then you have that awesome visual being horizontal with the water. It really feels like you're going to strike the surface. You then have an elongated S-bend over the water, but with how much speed you're still carrying, you swing with each turn. Then you twist upwards into the final brake run, which may cause the craziest swinging of the ride. The final turn is very tight and completely unbanked, so the trains seem to swing beyond horizontal here. You then will rock back and forth for a few seconds on the brake run. After a pause, you'll return to the station, ending the 2361 foot, 
or 720 meter long coaster. It's over in a flash, but it is a satisfying and wild ride. Bat has similar swinging, and while that ride has positive G's too, they're not as pronounced as they are in Vortex for me. So what would I rate Vortex? I would give this suspended coaster an 8 out of 10. This is the best suspended coaster still in operation. Vortex's pacing is the star. This ride rips through its layout, blending exciting swinging with good positive G's. The ride is short, but I'll take an intense ride over a milder, more drawn out one. I do wonder how many years this ride has left, especially after Big Bad Wolf reached the end of its service life after just 25 years at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. But I hope Vortex can last quite a bit longer. It really is a unique experience. So those are my thoughts on Vortex at Canada's Wonderland. What are your thoughts on the suspended coaster? Is it your favorite one that's still operating? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.